It was always going to be a year packed full of devastating events. La Nina, the natural phenomenon in the Pacific, promised that much. But 2011 went beyond even the most dire predictions. Japan suffered the worst. First, it was hit by a huge magnitude 9.0 earthquake, the fourth largest earthquake ever recorded. This triggered a 40 meter high tsunami that swept away entire cities and in turn, the wave triggered a nuclear meltdown, the effects of which will be seen for many years to come. The ground also shook violently in Christchurch, New Zealand. The floor is trembling. The earthquake here caused buildings and homes to collapse like paper and led to the death of more than 180 people. But in eastern Turkey, there was a moment of celebration as a mother and a two-week-old baby were rescued after 48 hours under the rubble. And as the ground shuddered, La Nina delivered its worst. Some parts of the world started the year underwater. Australia suffered the worst flood since the 1970s. Then, to add insult to injury, it was struck by tropical cyclone Yazi. A few weeks later, it was Sri Lanka's turn to be inundated, leading to widespread flooding and the evacuation of hundreds of thousands of people. Pakistan endured another devastating monsoon season. Most of Thailand remained submerged for weeks and Colombia's rainy seasons merged into one. And while some parts of the globe had too much water, other parts of the world were in dire need. Across the Horn of Africa, a staggering 12 million people were affected by the severe drought, which still grips the region and the situation is getting worse. In the southern states of the USA, there was so little rain that wildfires destroyed thousands of homes. For Texas, it was the worst drought on record. Another record set in the USA was for the number of tornadoes during one month. April saw a staggering 753, smashing the previous record of 543 set in May 2003. Then finally, just as the year was coming to an end, more than 1,000 people in the Philippines were killed by tropical storm Washi. And with the La Nina conditions still present, 2012 is promising to start just where 2011 left off. Steph Golter, Al Jazeera.